Hmm. What should I do? Oh. Hmm. Where Wednesday? What should I do today? All right, let's go search. What should I do today? One one five one news. Exciting things to try. Wait, what? That's all I searched up. And what should I do in a Where Wednesday? <laughs> Yo, what's poppin', guys? This is Jason Max here. Man, we are on a weird Wednesday. Yes, sir. You know, we're ready to chill. We're ready just to chill out. You know, I've been doing a lot of stuff, you know. I've been grinding on my videos. I've been actually been being consistent on my videos. And I actually want to thanks for the mad support y'all been giving me on my videos, actually, dude. So, I'm gonna actually go ahead and reveal my hair. So, y'all actually want to see my hair in this baby? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all, guys. Look at this, bro. <laughs> Yeah, that yes, clean thing, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But yeah, y'all go ahead and smack 25 likes in this video for today. So I'm gonna go ahead and just stop my yap in here and get straight into it. The Boyo One Phenomenon. Alright guys, we're here on the Boyo One Phenomenon and let's read this. All following media has been crucial with permission from personnel at Feria228. Great care has been taken to to keep the identities of a person involved anonymous as they requested. This video contains elements which are known to cause mid and serve. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna read. I'm just ready. I'm just ready to see what happens. Okay, so it, it says make sure you have the following. The first one is earplugs. Yes, I, I already got headphones. So down correct. Pencil and a sheet of paper. A standard Christian Bible. Open whites. Wait, what? So I had to use the Bible for that. I, Hold up, let, let me search that real quick, cause uh, I don't. Know. Oh, I do have one. Okay. How about this little book works, guys? It does count. Okay. So I do have my notebook. See that, guys? My notebook right here. And then I have my pencil right here. And then I have my Bible right there. Alright, guys. I think we are prepared. I think we are prepared for the things that's gonna happen. Alright, so I'm gonna open my sheet of paper. There you go. Ready to write things down. Yes, sir. Alright. I don't know what's gonna happen here, but hey. I'm not gonna take any notes though. I'm just gonna be reading this video. If something unusual begins speaking in tongues and tentacles to the naked ears, insert your earplugs and to turn your pencil and paper. What? Okay. So I want us to turn our pencil? I mean, we do have headphones, so that does count as earplugs. Okay. I can see this paper, I can see my hand, I can't hear the screaming of thousands, and I, can, I can't I can hear the feast, I am moving, breathing, and human being on the planet Earth. Okay, um, that sounds a little bit disturbing to me, I don't know, man. I drink my water real quick. No evil shall befall you, and no purges shall come near your dwelling. After these words are written, read, critique awesome ninety one ten aloud. If memories and imaginary of something unholy priests in your mind, I don't know. If we can do that, guys. That sounds a little bit dark to me. Uh, I don't know. Uh, just keep moving on. You know, doing our own thing. In the events, you are required to carry out these products and con contracts and authorities immediately afterwards. You be administrated. Many appear to lead a normal life afterwards. Yeah, I don't know about that. So the events must have happened or something. Hey guys, there's just a guy in the tree. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, may many appear at that. Never mind, never mind. Never mind. I'm stupid, guys. My bad. The boil one phenomenon. August 13, 2003, Tree of Heaven. Okay, that song, that song sound, sounds terrifying to me. Okay. I don't know, bro. That song is so terrifying. In the late 1900s, a now classified documentary based television program would debut from a local station in Pennsylvania. The program revolved around woodland and plants and animals and was primarily directed towards children. Children? Okay, that kind of sound a little bit dark to me, but not really, because it's just telling about stories about what happened in the Boyle phenomenon, I guess. The star of the show and the narrator would talk about the wonders of nature, the danger, the dangers of it, how to appreciate it, and most importantly, how to project yourself from it. 
seems interesting. We're getting we're getting into the story. It's 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 getting a little bit interesting. All right, guys. Unfortunately, in early 2001, the program will be taken off at the air due to the host and passing away. Dang, that sucks, bro. I don't know why, but this is this reminds me of a school like method, you know, when you write stuff like notes and blah blah blah. Oh, I, I don't know why I turned this to this way, don't worry about that. Then something odd happened. What actually happened? On August 13, 2003, the 13th episode of the series began a re rerun seemingly out of nowhere. Okay. We got past her there. The following audio recording deeds the beginning segments of the episode. Good morning, oh. Ghostbusters. Today we're venturing into the heart of the forest to find a plant that's as beautiful as it is deceptive. It looks so beautiful outside. Poisonous. I don't know why. Okay. We all know about it. Looks amazing. And here in Pennsylvania, it's not as common, but still something yeah. to look out for. And here on pretty off. Oh wow, my we ears. Wow, my ears, bro. Okay, that was that was no pretty weird, No matter how bro. minuscule or gigantic. So let's okay. get going, shall we? Yeah, let's let's keep going, guys. This is looking pretty good, bro. Hey, we're starting off good, bro. North American woodlands. Poison oak has many different names and places of origin. Also referred to as the tree of heaven. The tree of heaven. Imagine that. In cool, China cool, and cool, Taiwan, cool, cool. one of these invasive species made its way to America in the 1700s and took its ground here boldly. As many of us know, it's infamous. Infamous, all right. During one of the most inter segments of an anomaly, I, I don't know what I'm saying, broadcast would hijack the pro program. This broadcast de depletes the videos of a red melted face that spoke to the viewer in a warm yet deeply discord discording voice. Discording voice, I, I can't pronounce that, sorry guys. This phase is pro properties will be Herbie referred to as the Fanon 22A228. Oof. That sounds scary, bro. As a Fin 228 spoke clips of footage and even live camera feed monitor hospitals and bedrooms would be because oxidation overlaid in the screen absorbing Fin 228's face. Oh god. It's that creepy monster, right? I don't know, dude. I I'm kind of nervous what's gonna happen bro okay i don't like those eyes i don't like those eyes those eyes looking pretty creepy in my opinion yes through most remember from fan to two a speaking english multiple non-english speaking viewers remember understanding every word that was spoken oof i don't like that spoken right Eh, I don't know. The following clips is a restored recording of the anomaly broadcast during the duration of the clip has been shortened and the audio has been muffled and reversed and depend. These alternatives are absolutely necessary to suppress its as as for you as effectively as possible for the maximum safety. Watch with the blue light glass glasses and insert your earplugs. Oof, I don't I don't know about that. All right, we're getting, we're getting to a good part of starting. All right, let's go. What the? What the heck is that, bro? Uh, I don't like that, bro. I don't like this. I don't like this, bro. It's already getting creepy. Why is he still staring at me? Why is he staring me at the freaking fan? Bro, what the hell is that, bro? I was not expecting this. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting that. Uh, what's that door opening, bro? Okay, that is so creepy, bro. That is so creepy, bro. I'm actually getting goosebumps right now. I'm actually sweating, bro. That is one creepy guy I see, bro. This broadcast was herbally referred to as the broadcast 813. It's that monster. Yes, sorry. No, that broadcast, broadcast 813 was viewed by roughly 530 residents throughout the southern Pennsylvania area and upon viewing left many surfly this drought. So there's that monster over there, okay. 
I ain't gonna lie, we're getting four minutes to the video and it's already getting real creepy out here. Oh no, that's that's terrible right now. Aside from the discomfort and Perionics Fin 228 television press has brought to the viewers, there were other side effects that these viewers experienced that were highly unnatural. Anxiety and paranoia. Oh god, not in the head. That's creepy, bro. I hope that thing doesn't get in my head, bro. Many viewers reported not being able to keep the image of the Finn 228's face out of their minds. Some even continued to hear its voices day after viewing. I hope I don't hear voices, bro, because I regret watching this video, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I actually kind of regret watching this video, bro. I don't know why I did this, but hey, I don't know, man. A victim who requested to remain anonymous claimed that the face was living in his brain and feeding on his spine. Another described trumpets playing in their ears before they fall asleep. Oh no, I don't like that. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know, bro. I hope trumpets don't play in my head, bro. None of these people knew that this was only the beginning. The beginning of a whole species of suffering that will never be fully understood. Yeah, I don't know about that. <sighs> it's getting a little creepy out here. August 14, 2003. The greatest Northeast blackout of 2003. Oof. I don't like that. After anonymously, Fink. Hold up. Finkley was detected by television stations and troubleshooters. Alright. The, the NCRC was ordered by the Irreparative Paint branch to have all power grids local to the state of Pennsylvania disabled by 4 p.m. to prevent further exhalation of the anomaly and the public knowledge of broadcast 813. Dang, it's starting to get a little creepy out here, bro. I don't know, man. That's just not feeling it right now, man. The outreach ultimately spread to various parts of the New York and New Jersey, Ohio, even Canada as well. Oh, I don't like that. I'm starting to not like this right now. I'm starting to not like this right now. Creating the famous grad Northeast blackout of 2003. Almost 50 million people were without power and some not getting it back until days later. Dang. That sounds bad. That, that kind of sounds bad in my opinion, dude. During the confusion caused by the outage of all trades of broadcast 813 were collected by the Aperia branch and seemingly wiped from existence. Dang. That sucks, bro. So they basically got wiped from existence. RIP. Including the news article and the works from the morning after the broadcast and internet's post recording and more. Dang, so they, they did watch that and then they got like something in their brains, I guess. I don't know. Cause of the blackout promotedly covered up and claimed to have been a compilation of the human and early error error in the result of trees falling into second power lines somewhere in Cleveland, Ohio. Ohio? Ohio, bro, what? Okay, bro, I don't know, man. But the damage had been done. Okay. Aftermath. Oh, well, this is gonna be dark. I haven't wrote anything at all because I don't trust this, bro. 12 days after broadcast 813 was blocked from the air, a historically massive influx cured throughout the state of the Pennsylvania, leaving 509 people affected and many families in shock. Dang, that sucks. There 509 people affected by many families. That's crazy, dude. Don't put a- I can- I can renounce that. It's an extremely rare condition in which a patient experiences a leaving disconnection, leaving them to be conscious by unable to move, communicate verbally due to complete paralysis of all the volunteers' mo voluntarily muscles in the body except, except for the virtual eye movements and blinking. Oof. Blinking, dude? That is just- uh, I don't know. This anomaly of outbreaks of such a rare condition was regarded as the specialized by the U.S. Department of Health and was put under gover governmental investigation vaguely. Yeah, they went down horribly and I knew everyone was going to die in this, bro. One thing in common with all of these cases is that patients have been at home watching TV the night broadcast 813 was aired. Oof. 
When this happened? Wait, 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 wait. What's that moving? What's that moving, dog? What's that moving, dog? I saw that, bro. I swear to no, 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 no. I saw something right there, bro. I'm not even joking. In front of my eyes, bro. I'm not even joking, bro. The root of victims of this outbreak were unable to speak. They were able to communicate through Morse's code by blinking. More than six, 60 victims were interviewed. Dang. 60 interviews, dude. 60 interviews. Dang, bro. Many of these interviews held unveiling results that often led to more questions and many others held results that required achieval or termination. That doesn't sound right, bro. I'm telling you, man, like, this shit is dark as... Man, it's just dark, man. However... Barely late into the investigation, the fair branch was notified of the particularly odd case revolving around one job, Zamperdi, an elderly victim of the anomaly outbreak. Dang. That, so he was to, he was responsible for all of this. Dang, dude, that sucks. Jaws did not believe the specified request in his, his allies. Allow, allow us to be used in the future records instead of his real name, which will remain classified. Thank. Zanepi was was a war vet and a fluent in Morse code, putting him on the mark as a potential interview as soon as the outbreak was put in under the investigation. Thank. So he was the responsible one, and then he got put in like an outbreak of it under investigation, let's just say. I don't know, man. After a very odd photo was taken in his backyard by his visiting grandson, his family became deeply troubled and convinced his house was haunted. Hank. That sucks, bro. I don't know about this, bro. And I'm already starting to feel like chills and creeps. I don't know, man. This led them to contact a local priest in hopes his house would be blessed the finally photos deep list fin 228 standing i didn't even finish hold up standing next to the small playhouse in zanepi's backyard sorry again creepy man the photo itself has proved to be non-hazardous and safe to view through still anom anomalies in certain nature for the most com comfortable viewing experience wear blue glasses or view from a distance of three feet or more all right i i think i got a pair of glasses guys i think this might work because i think this is blue glasses all right let me go ahead and put this on right now guys yeah this is definitely 100 percent blue glasses guys all right let's go ahead and do it bro I might stand three, I stand three feet, bro. I ain't getting jump scared out of nowhere, bro. That's all I gotta say. I ain't getting jump scared out of nowhere, bro. Woo, this is not looking good, man. That's all I gotta say. Okay, I see a guy. Oh, I see a small house. All right, that's cool. Okay. Zanepi claimed something horrible and unholy was with him and would hurt him and possibly others if he described it and what it was telling him. Oof. I'm not, I'm not liking this word is going, man. That's all I gotta say. I'm not liking this right now, bro. The following is a recovered previous achieve, achieve recording in which Officer T. Gomez of the Irapa branch and interviews by Joss and Epi. Start off not good, man. That's all I gotta say. Oof. Hello, Mr. I'm Officer Gomez. He just says his real name. That's all I gotta say. Okay. So it says give to God and go to sleep. Oh, man, I don't condition. like this, bro. And possibly uh, uh, unholiness within your home that your family admits. I guess he's just saying his personal information, I should say. I don't know. Wait a second, wait a second. I see okay, something right there. I see something right there. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I see something right there. I see something right there. I'm not liking this, bro. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm not liking this. Oh, no. I got a bad feeling. I got a bad feeling. There might be a jump scare right there. Uh huh. Yeah, we see him, bro. When did you begin seeing this? We see him 100%, dude. I'm already seeing him, dude. I'm not liking this. I guess he's Either talking, and I guess he's talking, the but they don't know what's right there, bro. August they don't know what's right there. I'm actually getting scared right now, bro. And upsetting hallucinations. Hallucinations. Do you think this is something your brain has created? I, I guess, yeah. I guess his brain. Can you please describe this face to me? I think he knows, bro. I'm not liking that. Oh, no. Hmm. 
Oops. I, uh, I still don't see it. Have you been having any hallucination aside from the face? I don't know, man. I don't know. This this is I'm looking scary right now, bro. Are these screams constant? I guess. Why is his ears trumpets? It's okay. You shedding light on this is helping more than you. Oh, I saw that. Okay. Oh, he's got been right there. Yep, yep, yep. God, I told you. What did I tell you? Oh, God. Oh, my God. That boy looks creepy as hell. He looks like a dog, though. Oh, my goodness. I don't, I'm not liking this right now, bro. Wonderful day, the miracle of birth, and they little you know, bared well. Oh, God. Oh, God. His face. Oh, his organs. I'm not looking at that. Oh, oh no, nah, bro. I'm not liking this, bro. Oh, that's a nice, beautiful sky out there. Happy sound. Oh god. Uh that is so disturbing, bro. That is so disturbing. No, this, this is so disturbing, bro. Uh uh. Oh god. Wait, what? If you can see this screen, it means it is not spirit, it is not safe to continue viewing this program. We will end shortly. Yep, I saw that thing, dude. I'm telling you, bro, he says some weird stuff, bro. Protocol breed to real 228 has been entangled. Whew, I'm not liking this. Program the per the produce given to you during the introduction to pro of this video immediately. No evil shall befall you, nor shall it, it pledge come near your dwelling. Okay, it says the same thing. Okay. Oh, God. I, I'm going to talk to y'all in the outro, guys, because this, we need to explain about this, guys. Guys, what I got to say about that, it has to be so scary, bro. Like, I'm telling you, that little tape I freaking watched, bro, was just so creepy. I kind of regret searching this on the internet, and I don't think there might be trumpets playing my head. When I'm sleeping, I know this is fake because I, why would why would it be real? like why would I be scared if, th if this thing's in my head? It's not. I just kind of got scared a little bit because it was kind of disturbing. Yes, it was kind of disturbing. Yeah, guys, if you really did enjoy that video so far, I have no words to say to this bro because it was just so creepy. And I hope you find this more entertaining and more exciting. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the outro, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Good three fingers, let me rap with the best fly. Look at me, I'm treading through the city Who you know, do it better in the city Who you know, moving cheddar in the city Snowing bread in the city To a head, you ain't with me Doors too open for the kid now Poor saying goes for the rich now Motels, turn to this, I'm in rich now Shit, let me miss out Baby, how you